Are we alone in the universe? If we are alone in the universe, that would be amazing. And if we are not alone in the universe, that would be amazing. The Hubble Space Telescope estimates that there are at least a hundred billion galaxies in the universe. Multiply the hundred billion stars with the hundred billion galaxies and you get an almost incalculable number. With this number of stars, there are trillions upon trillions of planets. So the statistical probability that life as we know it exists elsewhere is very strong. Remember that we're only talking about our universe, which means that the universe composed of atomic matter. Most of this atomic matter is hydrogen and helium, and the rest is stardust in interstellar space, which has not yet coalesced into matter or stars. Cosmologists estimate that the universe that we know of, with its billions of galaxies and billions and billions of stars and trillions and trillions of planets, is less than 0.1% of the total universe. The rest is unknown and quite a bit of that is unknowable because across the cosmic horizon, 47 billion light years away, galaxies are tumbling into the unknowable. The reason we call it the unknowable is that by the time the light reaches from the cosmic horizon to us here on planet Earth, the stars and the solar system in our galaxy will have exhausted their thermonuclear energy and disappeared into the heat death of absolute zero. Super string theorists and multiverse theorists mathematically predict innumerable universes, approximately 10 to the power of 500 universes in different dimensions of space and time with possibly different cosmological constants and different laws of nature. If there are beings in these other universes, not only do we not know it now, we may never be capable of knowing it with our current sensory perceptions and the extensions of those senses, which are our scientific instruments. But the deeper mystery is not so much the existence of the universe or other possible universes, but that we have the awareness of all this, that we can ask these questions. This is unique to our species, unique to being human, to homo sapiens, at least as far as we know. <laughs>